I am going to um, do a holiday glam makeup look. I want something um, simple on the eyes, but then yet a really cute smoky eye because I want to put some Stay Golden Cosmetics on my lips so that um, I can see if I want to wear this look. I want to try to do maybe two different looks to see if I want to wear this to the Christmas party that I'm going to this week. So I have something in my mind that I want to do, but I'm hoping that it portrays that way outside of what I'm thinking. So let's get started. I'm gonna go in with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, my trusty dusty, what I always use, um, that I never could go wrong with. I am gonna do a cut crease, so I will be using this concealer again here shortly. I just want to um, go ahead and set my eyes right now um, with just applying the concealer and then placing a setting powder on top to get this um, set properly. Let's go ahead in with a fluffy brush. I'm going to use the Morphe E23. This is my all-time favorite brush. This is my favorite brush to apply my transition shade with and go back and blend after I'm applying two different shades. So um, the color I'm going to go in with first is this color right here. And I always like to look down whenever I am applying my transition shade and also whenever I'm doing a cut crease. So with a little bit of a darker shade, which is this color right here. And I'm mainly going to put that in this area right here because I just want to add some more dimension and you see this color is already adding that dimension that i'm looking for it's a tad bit darker um on my skin tone it's not that dark but like probably on someone that's lighter than me it's probably going to show a lot darker okay now i'm gonna find a lot smaller brush uh, i'm gonna go in with the jaclyn hill 33 and it's a little bit tinier um, but it's still a fluffy brush, and that's why I want to go in with this color here. This is just going to add more dimension to the um, outer area for whenever I go in with my um, cut crease. So I'm going to use this color right here very lightly because this color is very, very dark. So... And I don't want to take it up too far because this is not that kind of look. Just want to keep it right, right in here in the corner. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and start the cut crease um, because I got the edges exactly the way that I want it. And so now we're going to stop playing around with it. Not all the time your cut crease will be perfect, but it's okay. Um, sometimes it's okay. <laughs> when it's not perfect, sometimes it ain't. But this, to me, is okay for me. I'm just putting some Laura Mercier powder on it to set it. And I'm going to take... A little bit darker shade than the one that I just used the last time which is this color right here and with a very light hand I am just going to 
carve this area out right here. Okay, I'm gonna go back in with this brush right here and back in with that first shade that I used, which is this color right here. And I'm just going to blend around this area where I just placed that dark shade because I just want to add a little bit more dimension here so that my cut crease pops out a little more. Next, I'm going to go in with this color right here. It's not that light, but it's not dark either because I want to apply this to my lid color. It's a very, very light color. Um, but I'm just going to apply that to this area right here mostly in the front. Kind of like an inner corner highlight, but not really. We're going to go in with this color here on our lid, on the rest of the lid. And then now guys, we're gonna take this really flat brush right here. And I'm gonna take one of the best dark mattes that I love on this palette, which is this color here. I love when I put this kind of eye on because I go in with that color and I just sneak that dark color right in this area here. So disregard all of this on my face. I've already bronzed and um, I thought my camera was recording. And it wasn't. And so I'm going to go show you guys what I did underneath my eyes. I just used this color here. Just right under here. So the lashes we are doing, I want to put these on before I apply anything else. It's a very hard decision. I don't know if I want to do Lila or my favorite, 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 which is Mykonos. I think I'm going to go with Lila because she looks more Christmassy and holiday-y. These are probably going to be very, very dramatic. But I know that's sort of what I'm trying to go for with this look. So, I don't know. I want something dramatic. So, these are Lila by Lily Lashes. And they're the mink ones. Lila. Delilah, Lila. Okay, y'all. So, I'm going to go ahead and apply these off camera because I don't know how my camera is going to react while I'm doing all this because it's already looking like my battery is about to die. So let me go ahead and just do this. Okay, so it says on the instructions on the back, it tells you what to do. So it says to add um, a lip liner for a, for a more flawless finish. So that's what I did. And so the next step, what you want to do is, it says to put the, oh, did I just break this? Seriously? I accidentally just pulled that out. Y'all, I don't know. I'm kind of stuck in between burlesque, which is this red, and glitzy. But I think I'm going to go in with glitzy because I'm feeling pinky. I'm feeling very pinky. So, glitter here. The applicator and the, um, what do they call this? The gloss bond, aka glue. 
for the glitter. So I'm going to go ahead and put this all over my lips. Ugh, it smells very weird, y'all. Okay, so it says to dampen it, so I'm going to go ahead and spray it with Fix Plus. Take some of it off, and then I'm going to start... So I use the brush on the other end to just kind of wipe away any excess. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put some of the um, balm in some areas where I feel like I need more glitter zoom out some because I'm about to fix my baby hairs on my around my wigs okay y'all so this is my finished look I hope you guys like it I am in love with this so much like the only thing that I feel like I need to do is probably I should have went in with a lighter lip liner so I'm gonna go in with the Kali Cosmetics um love bit and just kind of go around this area definitely this is it um i am in love with this look um i think i'm gonna go ahead and do a second look so y'all please let me know what y'all think about this look and then i'm also gonna put up a second look so y'all can tell me like which one y'all like most and then that's the one that i will actually wear to my um my job's Christmas party so this one would actually match my dress like very very well I think at least um because I have my dress I got off of Fashion Nova and it's purple and it's like off the shoulder so like I think this look will very 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 well blend good with my outfit so because it has kind of some specks of purple it also might have some specks of blues and um, most of the colors that are in my that are in my dress. So um, I mean, not in my dress because my dress is just one solid color. But um, I think this will complement my dress well with some maybe some silver jewelry instead of gold. I don't know. But these lashes are definitely screaming holiday. I'm glad I chose these rather than the Mykonos. Um, but y'all, what do y'all think about this look? I'm obsessed with it. I wish I would have recorded this far back from my ring light at the beginning of the video. I keep forgetting to come back sometimes away from my ring light because I keep forgetting how much the ring light um, can really wash out your makeup if you're not careful. So... But I really, really love this look, y'all. I'm not naked. I just took my arm out of my shirt because the red was kind of throwing this look off quite a bit. So, um, y'all tell me what y'all think. One thing I'll have to be careful about with this glitter is I feel like I'm going to have to constantly have a mirror with me in this little bitty brush. Just kind of wiping away any loose glitter. Um... Y'all, it's not uncomfortable at all. Like, I know on my uh, initial video, when I posted a video using this lip kit, everybody was asking me, does it feel uncomfortable? How does it feel? It doesn't feel uncomfortable on the lips right now that I'm talking. Like, my lips feel perfectly fine. When I go like this, that's when it feels weird because you feel the glitter, like, crunching up against each other, like... 
but how many times are you going to be doing that throughout the day and even then doing that it's not uncomfortable it just feels like you have gritty stuff on your lips but it's not like you know that chap lip that chap lip uh dry lip feeling you know what i mean it does not feel like that the other con is that from every now and again every now and again you start chewing on loose glitter that gets in your mouth so that doesn't bother me either as long as the glitter's not getting in my eyes that's when i care um, but this is actually cute. Like, I cannot stop looking at myself in this mirror. This eye look is definitely a must for a holiday party, I think. Because it doesn't overshadow, um, you know, the holiday. It doesn't overshadow the, um, probably whatever you're wearing. If you want a more dramatic look, then definitely do a more dramatic look. But to me, um, I don't want to be too dramatic. I want to be simple but glam, if that makes sense. Um, so that's why I went with this look right here. So I think I'm definitely going to continue to keep my eye look. I'll just, um, just because I want to see what a dramatic look might look like with um, maybe another one of these lip kits. Or um, like with the red, I'll see maybe do like a dramatic smoky eye or something. Maybe um a dark brown or maybe a, a black smoky eye maybe i'll get creative with the black smoky eye i don't know i haven't did one of those in a very long time and i don't really practice it either so y'all let me know in the comment section what you think about this look i am loving it and i feel like i need to go somewhere now like um, see glitter but it's all good. So I don't know if I can rock this lip at the Christmas party because I'm going to be eating and I don't know. We'll see. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this look. Please let me know what you think. I'll do another look um, before Friday so that you guys can tell me which one y'all like the most. So stay tuned for that. Um, and until next time, I love y'all and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye.